Well, they know that one of the best ways to increase revenue and profit selling physical products is by introducing digital products. Yes, that's right. And that's what I want to share with you in today's video. Now, this video is um, a training I held um, over a year ago, um, teaching members of my community, the 10x e-commerce community, how they can use digital products um, to grow their e-commerce business. And I want to share with you today, um, in case this is the first time of you come to my YouTube channel, my name is Jonathan Melody, and um, this is where I talk about marketing and sales, e-commerce, uh, Facebook advertising, affiliate marketing. So if those are the types of videos that you love to watch, do well to subscribe, all right? And turn on that notification bell so that anytime I put out videos like this, you'll be the first person to get notified, all right? And um, one more thing, every week I get to shoot someone randomly from the comment section to have a free 30 minutes consultation with me. So if you want to be one of those, do well to stay till the end of this video to find out all right um without wasting more time let's get to it so you see exactly how to use digital products to profit yourself selling physical products let me see what you guys do what's your niche what's your niche health beauty niche that is broad tell us exactly what it is Tell us exactly what it is, Deji. Tell us what exactly is your niche, okay? So when you say health, what exactly it is? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, when I say health, weight loss. So weight loss, who are you catering for? Are you catering for... Yes, I connect. You can so you are catering for everybody. Now, yes. that is a mistake that a lot of people make, okay. and we are going to be addressing that in this um, training today. Trust me, guys, today's training is going to be awesome. It's totally going to be off the hook. Nothing like this have I done before, okay? Uh, Matilda, my niche is online courses on launching businesses uh, to profit. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, but this, this training is going to be more about uh, physical products, okay? Um, is the reason why we're here. I want to teach you guys how you can, you know, factor in information marketing into your um, e-commerce that's selling a physical product. How you can do that and do it to experience skill as well. All right, Guinea Kanwa, you are doing a lot of things. <laughs> awesome. You say health, phone, that's gadget i want to resume right female fashion accessories sunglasses okay um sarah Ubola said has kitchen items okay uh matilda said i'm with less products um jesse safe shoes bags sunglasses or some okay So tonight we're going to be talking about the next level of e-commerce. That's why today's training is titled E-commerce Evolve. Okay, you're going to uh, be learning uh, how to have an endless um, stream of customers for your e-commerce business using info products. Now, a lot of people don't know that you can actually um, factor in the sales of info products even though you sell physical products all right and we are going to be addressing all of that let's see exactly how you can do it how can i do it that is what this training is going to be all about so by the end of this training by the end of this training you should have been equipped um, with the three overlooked systems which you can use to skyrocket your sales, even as someone who is selling um, physical products. All right. Now, for this to really work for you, you need to have the mindset of someone who is truly in for solving people's problems. Okay. Now, you guys should already know already that I am a big believer of you solving real life problems solve real life problems okay because really when you solve people's problem they tend to listen to you and you tend to make a lot of money 
as you do that, okay? Now, you need to know that, like I said before, this is really different from every other kind of training I've done, all right? This is different from every other type of training I've done in the past uh, because, really, I haven't gone this much detail in a training. Anyway, I show you exactly what to do. I show you um, the things that you need to be, the little frameworks that you need to consider when you put out your entire um, business and system. And of course, you guys know my name already. My name is Jonathan Melody. And of course, um, you know what I have done. I'm the creator of the 10X e-commerce. Yeah, everyone here should be a member of 10X, right? Because yeah, I didn't, I didn't give this opportunity to any other person. All right, the people I have here um, are the people who are in my inner cycle. Okay, so if you are here tonight, you are lucky. It, sh it shows that you are amongst the few lucky ones. Okay, and of course, you are going to learn a lot today. Okay, and of course, you should know that I have been doing this uh, for the past seven years and there are seven things which i have discovered which is many no, 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 gurus um don't want to evolve so you see see them using the same marketing methods the same marketing principles they don't know that the time times ha have evolved okay things have changed okay and you still see them using the same traditional marketing skills you know they don't focus on building a brand Okay, they, they, they focus on selling products instead of building a brand. That is why I tell you guys that you want to make sure that you are choosing a niche. Be narrow, okay? See yourself as a key maker, like I always say. See yourself as like a key maker. Someone who is out there catering for people's problems, okay? Specific problems. You don't want to solve a thousand problems. You want to solve a thousand problems. You are... On specific, just like you're trying to walk into uh, a, a, a pharmacy and your 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 reason for walking to the pharmacy is to get a painkiller for your headache. So you're having headache, you walk into a pharmacy, on stepping into the pharmacy, you see two 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 labeled um, um, corps. One is said medicine, the other one says uh, paracetamol or panadol for your headaches. Which of them are you going to go for? You're going to go for paracetamol or pandol, isn't it? It's the same thing with marketing, okay? This is why choosing a niche and narrowing down is very important. It gives you that focus, okay? It gives you, it takes, it takes away that uncertainty. Okay? Today, you don't know what you're doing. Tomorrow, you don't know what you're doing. Today, you know what you're doing. Tomorrow, you don't know what you're doing. It takes away that to be Come say you know who you are not saving. And this is where I see that a lot of um, people do wrong out there. They are focused on products. That isn't what you should be focused on. So you need to really get this right in your e-commerce journey. Okay? You need to get this right. You need to focus on building a brand than selling products. Looking for one hot product to the other. No, that isn't what you should be doing. When you build a brand, it becomes easy to sell because now you know your message, you know your people, you know what the words, and it becomes so easy for you to scale. Are you guys still there with me? Are you there? I want to know if you can hear me and I'm not just speaking um, to myself. So yeah, once again, I want you to type in the comment section that you can hear me and that you, of course, you're with me and you get what I say, okay? Yeah, mommy. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah, we are here. Awesome. I can see that you guys are there. All right. So, we are going to, I, I, I want to share a little bit about, uh, you know, how I, I discovered some of these methods, okay? Uh, as you guys know, I do a lot of testing. Okay, and I do a lot of research. So some of the things I'm going to be sharing with you tonight are things that I, I've spent a lot of money on to discover all time, a lot of hours spent when people are sleeping and awake, um, getting to discover some of those things. Okay, 
But of course, because of who you guys are and what you guys mean to me, you are going to be having all of this on a platter, right? So I will be giving you all of these things and laying them on a platter for you so you don't have to go um, through the holdos that every other person out there go through and you don't have to go on spending you know, a lot of money doing your own testing on different marketing systems and of course hours spent on research. You don't have to do that, okay? And you see, what are you are going to learn today is, is, are things that are going to dramatically triple your sales if you implement them in your marketing, all right? If you implement these things that I'm going to share with you today, they are setting to dramatically uh, increase um, your sales in the next six months if you apply them. Because, of course, uh, we just have a few left for us to round up um, this year. Okay, see, in the past six months, oh, so during during the whole lockdown and all that, I generated um, a little bit over from millionaire from the women niche. The women niche is not really a niche that I um, cater to, all right? Some of you know that, all right? Some of you who are really close and you understand what I do, you will know that um, the women niche is not something I'm specialized in, but I made a little bit of a formula from um, the women niche, and of course, it was during this uh, um, when we stepped into the lockdown, and then when it was relieved and all that. When it was relieved, I began selling, which I'm going to be telling you guys about, by the way. Okay, uh, so something that you guys need is that the results that um, I share here are not typical, okay? You guys need to understand that. The, for the fact that I made this sum of money doing this during this time doesn't mean that um, you are going to make it yourself, okay? So if you don't if you don't put in what I teach you today into practice, into, uh, into work, you are not going to see the result of that you really do want, okay? So the three systems I'm, I'm going to be sharing with you guys, three systems that you can use um, info products to uh, to scale um, your e-commerce business and make more sales for yourself. And one of the system is you can use info products as liquidating offers. Now, what this means is that info products will not be paying for your entire marketing and, and advertising spend. All right, while whatever it is that you you um, sell at the back end, that will not be your profit. How amazing is that? Also amazing is now you just get to sell these info products on the front end, right? And it's going to be paying for your advertising, right? And whatever it is that you sell on the back end will be your, will be entirely profit. That's also amazing. Is. And the second system is basically you using info products as lead generation, okay? Now, I'm going to be breaking all of these things down for you, but I just needed you to understand um, these things before we go on um, explaining each of them, all right? So the, the third system is using info products as um, bonuses, okay? And what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be going from um, bottom to the tops, all right? So what I'm going to start with is how can you use info products as bonuses. Now, remember that I said from the beginning that it's important that you um, that you know your market, that you know your niche. It's important that you have a niche, okay? Because if you don't have a niche, it will be difficult for you to apply some of these things which I'm going to be sharing with you in this training. So it's important that you um, have a niche. Okay, so the first one I'm going to be sharing with you guys, which is the third um, secret and system, is using info products as your products. And I'm, to really explain this, I'm going to um, tell you guys um, briefly about a story. Okay, so you guys know that there was a time that I sold a product on hair growth. Okay, so this was in um, 2016, 2017, and we will I myself and a friend, we, we started selling this product. And what we did was 
it got to a point things were becoming a little bit still right because now people were not getting into the game and other people were selling similar products so what we, what i did was get a digital product so an info product on how um and here, so here, here, here is the product. It said no more hair loss. Okay, so what this means is now the funnel was like um, they go to a pre sale, they read about what causes hair loss and all that, right? Now, for you to do this properly, that's why I said you need to know your market. It's important that you know your market, okay? So it's, I use a pre sale, I tell them about um, what causes hair loss and some things that some tips they can use. Uh, to take care of their hair loss and of course they opt in if they wanted more information from it because now they know that i'm knowledgeable in the topic remember i said that you need to be an authority in your niche okay so if, if you've gone through the whole um 10x e-commerce blueprints you know that it's important for you to be an authority in your niche you want people to listen to you when you talk all right so Using Purcell is one of the ways that you can do that. You want to connect with your audience. You want to see, you want them to see you as an authority. So they go through the pre-sale, they opt in, and then they see uh, uh, the product which we are selling. Okay. And you can see the product right here. Um, the product that we started selling initially was uh, um, this. Uh, I have even forgotten the name, but you, the, the, is this product is very rampant now, and it got to a point I have to stop selling that product. I, I then imported um, this product, but at the point I stopped selling it because of the weight. But what I did was, when people buy this product, right, I give them this book. Now this singular art of giving them this book increased my sales right it doubled the sales that i was getting at at the point when we started the whole thing we are we are getting between uh, 20 to 25 sales every single day at the point things went down and we are even receiving less than 10 sales but introducing this just this um um info products right here it's increased our sale and this is a model that uh, people started, you know, adopting the moment I shared it, okay? A lot of people who use this now um, probably heard about it from me, also my funnel, okay? And they started, um, you know, adopting it in their own uh, business, okay? Now, the second um, one that we'll be talking about is using info products as lead generation. Now, what this means is you are not just saying them people directly to your product page right or sales page right what you do at this point is you have a pre-sale on facebook okay and your pre-sale can be in form of text or in form of videos I advise that people use videos because using videos will help you to you know um circumvent the whole scrutiny of the ai of the facebook ai because you want to be able to bypass that because of some persons who are in the sensitive niches okay so you want to be able to use videos you want to use videos for your personal so you do your personal on facebook and then you send them um to a squeeze page so a squeeze page is basically a landing page a page that people um land on and then they can type in their details your name and email all right now actually this i didn't discover this myself okay so there was this day i was having a talk um with my mentor ronald and zimora and then he shared uh a story with me how they used info product to sell a product okay so he told me that uh, what the deal was the to get people to purchase or sign up for a book, and the book sold the uh, physical product. Amazing, right? So what I did was, um, last year, sometime last year, what I did was I created this book. So I called it The Little Black Book of Unknown Knocking Secrets, okay? So last year, this product came at Condom Mass. It's basically for men to help them um, last longer and have uh, better um, fuller erections okay so what i did was um 
a user post of video or you want to use video which leads to um, a quiz, okay? That, these are some of the ways which you can actually run things like this if you want to do them on Facebook. You, you, of course, you guys must have seen people who do this on Facebook. You have to be intelligent and you have to be smart about it, okay? So you send them to a, an opt-in or um, a quiz, all right? And then the quiz gives them this book, okay? But I didn't use quiz, I used an opt-in, all right? So the opt-in and this whole book is an, goes through an onboarding, um, onboarding series. What that means is they don't get the book as a whole. Are you guys with me? They don't get it as a whole. What I did was each day I have um, part of the chapter being onboarded. So I send part of a chapter each single day. Now, the entire book took 90 days to roll out. <laughs> awesome, right? Awesome. And Inside those emails which I send, meaning that when they opt in, they are joining my autoresponder, okay? And when they join the autoresponder, of course, they receive these emails which are already preloaded. And these secrets, of course, are these knocking secrets. And inside those secrets, I refer them back to these condomers. Brilliant, isn't it? Now, I want you to tell me what you think about what I just shared now. What, what do you think about um, these two secrets I just shared with you guys? I want, to, I, want to, I want to hear from you what you think about these two, two secrets I just shared with you guys. What do you think? Do you think they are awesome? Do you think it's something that is worth trying out? Or do you think it's something that you won't try out? I want to hear you say something in the comments section. What do you guys think? All right, Jacob said brilliant, awesome. Awesome. Benga said they are amazing. Uluwa Kaya, they are awesome. Great, 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 great. All right, so this third one, Jesse, I see you amazing. It's an amazing move. Peter, definitely trying this, but awesome. Of course, you should try it in your business. You'll be amazed at the result, trust me. And not just this, it helps you to build an audience, an audience that trusts you, okay? Because really, you want people to trust you. People trust, people buy from um, people who they trust, love, and like, okay? And doing all of these things are going to help you come up as an authority. Your audience are going to see that you genuinely care about them. Remember, people don't care about how much you know until they know how much you what you care so this is absolutely brilliant and something that is what um trying something i think you should implement in your own marketing now this third one is going to blow your mind away actually i didn't plan on doing this but really this is just so amazing thinking about it now just gives me um, uh, you know, shivers and all smiles and all that. This is just so brilliant, guys. This is absolutely brilliant. So here is what happened. Um, in November last year, 2019, I had a training with a few persons here in Lagos, right? And I made them an offer, okay? And the offer was called the 90 Days to 1 Million Naira Challenge. So it's basically, um, you, go, you know, we going through uh, a challenge where we create a digital product and we are able to raise um, at least a million naira in the span of 90 days, okay? So what happened was that during that challenge, I created this product right on the challenge, okay? Now, this product, as you can see there, is um, a, a product, a digital product that is targeted to females. Can you see that? Females who want, I believe some of you have seen probably saw this ad on Facebook because um, there was a day I was going through my um, my whole Facebook ad and I saw someone, um, boss, I can hear your voice. I was like, really? <laughs> so you guys can identify my voice also. So I actually saw this, um, we actually went through this entire um, 90 days challenge and then um, within 30 days of launch, within 30 days of launch, 
Within 30 days of launch, we had generated over 30, over 3,000, close to close to $5,000. If you can see what's on my screen right here, this is 2,826. This is, remember, this is a digital product and this is not a physical product, okay? This is a digital product. So if you sum all of this up, this is about um, $5,000 plus. Dollars. And within that 30 days, we have made over a million from the sales of this product. Okay. And you know, I didn't run it for so long, but here is what happened. Now, the cost of selling this product made me to build a list of over 6,000 females. Amazing, right? Now, remember, we've already made profit from the sales of these digital products, right? And what I did was I picked a product that I had, you know, some time ago. And what I did was send it to um, these people to see exactly their response. And the response was mind-blowing. So here is how this entire thing was like, right? So I sent people, people watch a, a little pre-sale that I did on Facebook. They watched the pre-sale about the book. So they opt in to see the book. And of course, the book comes with certain bonuses because of course it's a digital product. This is how it works. So they get the book, they get the bonuses and we upsell them this product, which is called the sheet detector, right? So we are not only making money from the sales of this product alone. We are also making money from the sales of this sheet detector. So, what I did was, now, after the lockdown was relieved, I saw that, okay, this is uh, the female niche, right? I should be able to sell something else to them. So what I did was try out this product, okay? So this product is for eyebrows, so make um, your eyebrow look really um, good. It's a fiber, right? And it's something that is not, um, it's um, waterproof, okay? So what I did was, I sent an email to them, a few uh, onboarding emails as well, right? Using what we call the soap opera sequence. I, I believe I have uh, have explained this soap opera sequence before. So it's like when when you when you watch for those of you who have who, who are um, series movie fans, those of you who have series movie fans, you see what happens when you're watching series, right? And the way they end as, uh, an episode, it makes you want on the end for the next episode. That is what we call the soap um, opera sequence. So you, it's a continuation. It's a story you are telling that is in continuity. Okay? And really, the results were amazing. The sales of this product, I went over $1.8 million from the sales of this product. And it was mind-blowing guys i never believe that it's going to work trust me this entire system i would say i just stumbled on this particular uh, sales system using digital product if someone says this is going to work i will never have believed it because really um this is really around beauty right this product is around beauty and the digital products is around uh, relationships. Can you guys see that? I believe the reason why this worked was that the, the niche were women, right? And women will do anything to look beautiful, right? This is one of the reasons why this entire funnel works so well. Okay, so if you want to um, get started with this, what do you need to have in place? You need to have certain things in place. You cannot just go on ahead to just, you know, dive into this and apply this. One thing that you must do first is you need to identify the awareness level of your market, okay? So we have from the unaware to the most aware level of every market, okay? And you want to make sure that you identify the awareness level of your market first. Secondly, you need to identify the painkillers of your market. Now for every market, okay, out there, there are three categories of products that are being sold. Number one are painkillers. Number two are vitamins. Um, number three are, are just, you know, um, what's, what's it called now? Uh, not supplements. Um, 
this product candies yes let me say put it that candies right people who things that people just have a flair for right they, they, these are the two categories of products that are actually being sold out there so we have painkillers uh vitamins and candies right and really painkillers are the things that will get you the money not candies not vitamins so when i mean painkillers are uh, this they are products that people are in their need of, products that solve problems. That is why I always tell you guys, make sure you go for products that are solving a problem. It's very important. Now, the third thing you need to do is you need to build what we call a value ladder to make this work for you. So building a value ladder, I will tell you a little a story. Um, this, on this whole concept of value ladder, I learned from um, this guy, Russell Bronson. So Russell always tells a story. He tells a story um, about um, when he visited a dentist and he went to the dentist. And before going to the dentist, what happened was he had, you know, tried to build a team. So when he built a team, they started requesting for some things. So apparently um, he needed to have some things in place for the team. All right. Um, like health um, health uh, insurance and all all of these things. So one of the days they went out and um, they went to a dentist to have um, check check up, right? So when they got to the dentist, the dentist was just attending to his um, teeth, right? And what happened was, as the dentist was attending to his teeth, um, he identified. He told him that his teeth were yellowish and russell was like are you serious my teeth are yellowish right so and the dentist was like don't worry we can help you with that we can help you actually you know um um go through what we call um um <coughs> teeth um what is it called whitening okay um teeth whitening all right so he um russell said okay well go ahead i want that right so as the, the man was going on applying the whole teeth white and was like, oh, your teeth are not well arranged. They are um, co-joined, right? And are you serious? And the, the um, rooster asks, or the, the dentist asks, did you um, have this issue when you were smart? Rooster was like, yeah, I have the issue, right? But really, the dentist was like, really, don't worry, we can help you fix that, okay? At the end of the entire section with these dentists, Russell had ended up spending $2,000, okay? And he didn't just stop there. In fact, as Russell was walking out of the dentist shop, they offered him a subscription plan. Are you guys seeing this? So this is a value ladder. Whatever it is that you're giving to your customer is going to need to add value to their lives. Okay, so how do you identify the awareness level of your market? The one thing you can use to do this is use Google Trends. Okay, so you want to know exactly what um, is happening, um, that people, that is training, that people are asking for and all that. So you want to use Google Trends. Just go on Google and type Google Trends. Type um, your niche, okay, and you will be able to see exactly what people around your niche are searching for. The second thing you can, or the second tool which you can use is a Google Keyword Planner. Using a Google Keyword Planner is going to help you to identify the awareness level of your market. Okay. Now, the second thing is your market painkillers. How do you know the market painkillers out there, right? Remember, I said at each, each stage, right, of the value ladder, it has to be something that is attending to their pain. See, Russell was like, Russell was having issues with um, his teeth, right? And, he, and they needed to be clean, right? That is a pain because he doesn't want to have a smelly mouth, right? And then after that, the next thing is, they, is to clean the, the teeth and make it look whiter. He wants his teeth to look whiter. He wants to have a confident smile. And then they move him up to the, the point of arranging his um, teeth, okay, to look or to appear more appealing. And of course, the whole subscription plan. So you can see that you want to be able to identify the painkillers in your market. And one place you can do this is different marketplaces, okay? 
So you can do your research, okay, on marketplaces like ClickBank or Amazon to do this uh, um, research. There are a lot of videos out there, and I, I have some videos out there that can help you do this to identify the different painkillers of your market. And you can use Google search as well, okay, to do this. So how do you go about building your entire um, value ladder? Are you guys still with me? I want to know if you guys are still there and what you guys think about what you've learned so far. Let me know in the comment box. I want to know that I'm speaking with people or I'm speaking to people. Let me know that I'm not just um, talking to myself. I want to know that you guys are still here with me. Okay, so if you are still here with me, you say, yes, I am still here and this is unbelievable. This is, yeah, I can see you, Peter. Yes, yes, go ahead with full grand. Awesome, I'm still here. Great, 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 great. Are you guys enjoying this so far? Do you think this is really valuable for you guys? Yes, I'm here. You are so deep in knowledge. Thank you, Mrs. Faith. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm here. Sure, it's worth the time. So much value. Awesome. Okay, so how do you go on um building your value ladder all right so what i did was remember i said that the first thing you want to do is go on the marketplaces to identify the painkillers right it's important that you do that so what i did was i went on um clickbank okay i did a research okay and and this actually i i didn't just go about doing this research so so oh, let, me, let me tell you guys a little bit, uh, a short story, exactly how this um, happened, okay? <clears throat> let me tell you guys a little bit of a, a story how this did happen. So this guy, there, there's this guy who, who, who put a, a call through to me. Um, he wanted a consultation. He wanted to start. He had an idea about a specific... A specific... Um, Topic. He had an idea on something that he needed to do, okay? And he told me that he wanted to start this whole subscription around something. But I told him, see, you cannot just start with subscription. You need to take people through what we call a value ladder, which is what I just explained to you guys, okay? So using that concept, what I did was I went on, on to build on what he already has in mind, right? So this is uh, for the people who are in the um, high blood pressure niche, okay? So what I did was I went on ClickBank and I searched because ClickBank is a marketplace that where you can find a lot of digital products that people are already selling. Because really, most of this work is already done for you, okay? All you just have to do is see what is out there and leverage on the research that those people have done in the past. All right. So what I did was I went on, on ClickBank, I did a research, and I found a product that was selling massively on ClickBank. And what this product was doing was teaching people different exercises so that they can be free of diabetes, of high blood pressure. Okay. So that is the first point. So I can create a digital product, right? That you know teaches or give different exercises that people can do for them to be free of high blood pressure, right? And then once they get this product, I cannot introduce a physical product, maybe a drink. So what I did was to find this drink, what I did was I went on Google and I searched high blood pressure. And guess what happened? I saw a lot of ads, lots of Google ads. Also, that is one way that you need to you will use to know the painkillers what people are really selling in your niche. So I went on Google and searched high blood pressure and I saw a ton of ads. And what I saw was people selling these forever products, right? And it was a drink. Now, the reason why I actually got interested in this is that these people will not be running these ads. And I know that they've been running these ads because I have been seeing the ads for a long time. Okay, whenever I search on anything around arthritis, high blood pressure, and when I always see some of these ads. So when you see ads like this, it shows that people are what are actually buying those things. So this tells me that the next thing that 
the next painkiller that I can sell to my market is a drink. Okay. This, this niche are people who want natural things. That is something that I understand about the market. This market don't want to pop pills or some of these harmful things, right? So they want natural. So exercises they can do naturally to get to manage high blood pressure, okay? A drink that they can just take to manage or take care of their high blood pressure. And of course, what you can do is you can add the bonus to this. So you can even add maybe a wristwatch, okay, that monitors the high blood pressure. That, these are physical products, right? But now you are using a digital product as your front end tissue day exercises. If you're here, if that, that guy who called me is here, I believe that you're already getting some value from this training you know, or, on how you should structure your entire funnel and your value ladder. Okay. Now, once I, I sell this product and drink to this pool, another thing I can sell to these people is a subscription plan, right? Now, this is a part of e-commerce that a lot of people overlook or people don't even pay attention to, subscriptions, right? So what I can now do is, I can now say, um, you can subscribe to our plan, maybe a monthly plan, maybe um, six months, maybe a year plan, where we get to send you exercises, meal plans, you know, um, refill of this drink, right? Every single, every three months, or every month, depending on um, what you're selling. So probably the drink you're selling is going to be um, exhausted or it will be completely um, used for in the span of 30 days. Then you can have a plan of 30 days. Do you guys understand all of this? Do you guys understand what I am actually showing you guys? I want to know if you get me. If you, are, if you are still here with me, tell me that, yes, you're still here and you understand what I just explained on building your entire value ladder. Okay, okay, awesome. Great, yes, sir, yes, I do. Awesome, I, yes, still here. Yes, I understand. Yes, awesome, guys. This is amazing. I'm so glad that you guys are getting this. Now, it's important that you really get this right, guys. It's important. I'm here, but I didn't understand the value ladder properly. Oh, I don't quite follow. Okay, probably you, you, um, joined us late, right? You probably joined us late, so that's why you don't, um, that's why you, you didn't um, get it. Uh, maybe your, your network is bad or something. It could be um, the reason. Um, I, and probably this, this whole thing is going to be recorded. I will send you guys uh, the, the replay so you can watch it. Okay, I hope it's recording because I am not recording it on my screen. So you guys have to pray that this is recording, okay, for me to send it to you guys. All right, so it's important that you do this. You want to help your customer achieve little wins, okay, so they can ache for more from you, all right? So exercises, drinks, subscription. Are you seeing how you are taking it? So you don't sell them subscription or you sell them the drink first. When you say sell them something that they can really see results from, all right, before you sell them something else. This is how you take your customer through the value ladder. Now, Awesome. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and, you know, turn on that notification bell so you keep getting videos like this one. All right. And um, make sure try and implement what you just learned in this video because really this is the easiest and one of the most uh, or one of the fastest ways of increasing your revenue as well as your profit all right and by the way in the beginning i told you that um, every week i get to choose someone randomly from the comment section um all you just have to do to be part of that is to leave a comment your big takeaway um from this video from this training you just um had uh, all right and uh, you might just be the lucky winner next week all right and uh, by the way, if you want to be part of the 10S community, you find um, a link in the comment section in the description of this video on how you can be part of this. All right. So until next time, go make that profit. Bye.